Hi everyone, I just thought I'd show you the automatic plant motor a bit of my Raspberry Pi B+. Plus. It has a small menu, using a menu up and a menu down button, a time up and a time but down button to set the values, a prime line button, and a controller for the volume of the beeper. I also have a two-row 16-column LCD display, and a small monitor that I use for my GUI mode, and mostly just programming on the spot. It has six pumps, two main pumps, one for flow in and one for flow out, and four nutrients pumps. Let's turn it on quickly. It will boot straight into the tink Tinkered Daily Timer mode. It probably will take 20 seconds to do this. In the meantime, I'll show you the reservoirs. I have my storage tank, my mixing tank, a bottle to hold some water, and a cup representing the nutrients. And here's the moisture sensor. I'd best empty this quickly. That's loading. I'll just show you that whilst it's loading, whilst it's empty this bottle. That was X screen saver, just to stop the screen from sleeping. And now it's for load the GUI daily timer. Just sorting this box out, sorry. There we go. Right, let's put this camera back on its tripod. And I'll show you its functions. Using the menu up, we can set how much water in 500 mils at a time. Set the nutrients. We can set it to any value, three digits up to 999. We can prime any reservoir displayed in the row at the time. That would prime the res tank. I'll show you that on the LCD display. I don't want to make this video too long. We can prime every pump there is. And then you can choose the dosing cycle from every cycle to up to every five cycles. So it would miss five cycles and then dose, so you don't overdose your plants. We can leave the menu where it is, it would happily continue where it is. Right, so let's set the time. Unfortunately we're going to have to go for the next minute. I really should have set that first. It's just using an entry box, so it's nice and simple. I set this for 10.20. Sorry, I just knocked the tripod. When that starts, it's going to pump 500 milliliters of water from our mixing tank, sorry, from our storage tank into the mixing tank via this tube there. It has a float sensor so that if it detects that this plunger has gone up, it will stop pumping in. We also have a, another float sensor at the bottom so when the water is pumped out of the mixing tank, it will pump until this float sensor goes down. The nutrients is being sucked from this cup for now and goes into the mixing tank. And this bottle, as I said earlier on, this is where the water will be pumped for now. Of course, these should be plant pots. I have four of these drippers. So with the pressure of the pump, it just allows the water to flow and keep it in place. Okay, sorry. The time has just started. It's watering into the mixing tank. It's going to be half a litre. We'll throw it down. There we go. Have some cups of A. Some B. Some C. Some D. And as I said a minute ago, it's going to water out this tank until this float sensor drops down. So, allowing all the tanks to be drained. Should pack exactly a litre. I'm on the spot now, aren't I? This being a that be a one meter bottle. Oh, I'm holding my breath. Yeah, a little bit short. Now it's there a beat. There we go. And it's set the time for the next day. And that's the day of time, mate. So it has two float sensors, 
six months, set in the town by a GUI, and then there's the deed is paying for the values. Let's just put the camera back on the tripod, and I'll show you the sensor mode. Sweet so back here. Yeah. The sensor mode doesn't use the display, it only uses the LCD. Sorry, it only uses the LCD display, not the main display. Let's close that. I have two executable shortcuts that I made. This one is the sensor mode. It's quite a light code, it's only 400 lines long, so it doesn't take that long to launch. It's just point. It's just draw the small picture there. An ASCII art picture, that's the word. <laughs> Sorry I'm on the spot, I'm not so good under cameras. As you can see, the moisture level is 80% and it's maintaining 50%. It's the same menu as before. You can set up the values. Like I said, you can go as high as you want. The refresh rate between these buttons is half a second. I should make it less. We don't need to prime the pumps, but I should show you one going. There you go. If you just keep going up, I'll show you setting the water level so you can set this as 80%. We set this as 75. So we don't really need to set it at 75 for now. I'm just wasting time this video. So we'll leave it at 60. Now, if I come down here. Here's my moisture sensor. The simplest way is just to remove this moisture sensor and it would read zero and start the loop. So if we pull this up, I'll put the camera on here so you can watch it happen on the display. I'm going to remove the sensor now and there we go. It's pumping water for 25 seconds. Again, this would be a litre. Hmm. And now watering a litre back into our bottle again. Using one of these. A drip feeder. Once the cycle is complete and the plunger goes down, which I'll show you manually this time. Push the plunger down there, and that's watering complete. And that's our two cycles. Hope you enjoyed it. The code's in the comments below. If you have any questions, just message me. And sorry for my poor camera. Shit. <laughs>